In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you the praise. We give you the honor. We give you the adoration. We exalt you. We say, worthy thou art worthy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We thank God. We give God the praise. We give God the honor. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Somebody make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We thank you one more time. We give you praise. We give you honor. Father Lord, we thank you for a day like this. We salute our bishop, Dr. Emmanuel Boche, all the way in Ghana. All the apostles, the pastors, we salute them. Our Facebook friends, we salute them. This is Christian Faith Church International, London, and we welcome you to our live broadcast today. And we are saluting every church member today online, on phone. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Thank God for the life God has given unto you. Lift your voice and say, Father Lord, I thank you for my life. Father Lord, I thank you In the you mighty for my name life. of Jesus. Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. I am very excited to hear your voice. I am very excited to see you today. I am very excited to know that you are with us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Beloved, we bless God for such an awesome moment. In times like this and in moments like this, our God has been merciful. We are still on, on the theme, the praise. The praise. His praise shall continually be on our lips. Last week, we spoke about when do we praise. We spoke about when do we praise. And we also spoke about what is praise. Today, our emphasis will be on who and how. And our sub-theme for today says what? Everything that has breath. Everything that has breath, praise the name of the Lord. Somebody shout, let everything that has breath, praise the name of the Lord. Shout, everything that has breath, praise the name of the Lord. Everything that has, that breath, has breath, praise, praise the, the name, name of, of the Lord. Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 We thank God for what he has done. I am reading from the book of Isaiah 43, verse 21. The book of Isaiah 43, 21. The book of Isaiah 43, 21. And the Bible says, These people have I formed for myself, and they shall declare my praise in the mighty name of Jesus. They shall show forth my praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, we are all created with an element for praise. We are all created with an intrinsic part for praise. Irrespective of who you are, irrespective of where you come from, there is a time in your life you will give praise. Amen. We have been created in such a way that we praise. If you look at those who do not even know God, they praise their kids. Oh, they praise their cars. Some praise their bicycles. Some praise their wives. Some praise their money. So everybody and every human being is created in such a manner that they will show forth what to God in the mighty name of Jesus. They will show forth praise in the mighty name of Jesus. So we are talking about praise, what is praise, and what we're going to do about praise today. So come with me quickly. We are delving into the definition of praise. And I'm using the Webster Revised Dictionary. It says to commend to applaud and to express approbation of or to loud and to what to apply to a person or his acts when somebody do something you recommend or you commend when somebody do something great you express that gratitude the second bit it says to extol in words or song to magnify to glorify on the account of perfections or excellent works when somebody do an awesome work and you see that, it says, that's awesome. That's wow. That is a praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Still defining praise, I'm talking on the value, to value, to appraise. You, you, you value and you appraise something. I cherish this, my car. Oh, this, my son is an awesome boy. This, my daughter is an awesome girl. You, you, are, you are putting value. 
price, quantifying it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Are you Amen. there with me? Amen. 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 And the last of all, especially the joyful tribute of gratitude. The joyful tribute of gratitude or tribute of what? Gratitude or homage rendered to a divine being. And that is what we will consider most. That is what we, the believers, we will dwell most in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say, I will praise the Lord at all times. I will, I will praise, praise the, the Lord, Lord at, at all times. times. And his praise shall continually be in my lips. And, and his, his praise, praise shall in the mighty name be of name. Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. So what does the Bible say about praise? What does the Bible talk about praise? What does the Bible recommend? Or what does the Bible ask us to do? Come with me to the book of Luke chapter 19. We shall read from 38. The book of Luke 19.38. The book of Luke 19.38. The book of Luke 19.38. I am reading. Saying, Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Amen. 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 And the 39, and some of the Pharisees called to him from the crowd, Teacher, rebuke your what? Your disciples. And he answered in verse 40, I tell you that if this should keep silent, the stones would what? Immediately cry out unto the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I am taking you back to the verse 37. It says, Then as he was now drawing near the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works they have seen. Somebody say with a loud voice. With, with a, a loud, loud voice. voice. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So this is when Jesus was making a triumph journey. And the Bible says that the moment he began to journey towards the Mount Olives, they began to rejoice and they began to praise. No one asked them, nobody told them to what? To praise God. But they saw the mighty works of God and they began to praise. And I am here to tell somebody who will see the mighty hand of God in your life. Amen. Oh, you will bounce out forth in praise. Amen. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It shall end in praise. In Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Irrespective of the challenge that you are going through, it shall end in praise. Hallelujah. Irrespective of the difficulty you are in, it shall end in praise. Amen. Irrespective of the failure you are in, it shall end up with praise. Amen. Irrespective Perspective of the obstacles that is in front of you, it will end up in praise. Amen. Somebody rejoice and say, It shall end in praise. End Somebody in praise. rejoice and say, It shall end in praise. End the in difficulty praise. I am in shall end in praise. End the in difficulty praise. we are in, it shall end in praise. Hallelujah. The challenges we are in, it shall end in praise. Hallelujah. The torment I am in, it shall end in praise. Amen. Somebody rejoice and be gladly and be greatly and be exceedingly. Shouting and saying, it shall Hallelujah. end in praise. For all that praise. comes your way shall end in praise. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Beloved, as a child of God, situation and challenges will come your way, but it shall end in praise. Amen. Beloved, as a child of God, you shall go down, but it shall end up with what? With praise. Hallelujah. Beloved, as a child of God, sickness will come your way, but it shall end up with praise. Beloved, as a child of God, you will face joblessness, but it shall end up with praise. Amen. Oh, the Bible says, let everything that had bread to praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The praise of our God shall continually be in our lips. Hallelujah. Beloved, God is a God who will not share his glory with anyone. Therefore, irrespective of whatever you go through, God will ensure that it ends in praise. Somebody did not get that. All that I said, God is a God who does not share his glory with anyone. So the situation you will go through, the challenge that will come your way, the difficulty that is in your way, God will ensure that it ends in what? In praise. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. 
Oh, yes. There is a God that's seated upon the throne. He alone is God. None could be compared. None could be what measured up unto him. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Beloved, when we talk of praise, when we talk of praise, it's in, it's, a, it's in Hebrew, a word in Hebrew. That says what? Yada. Yada. When it says yada, to give thanks or confess, there is a second word which is translated in praise, and that is zama. Zama which also means sing in praise. And there is a third word which is translated in halal, which is the root of what? Hallelujah. Hallelujah simply means to praise be unto Jehovah. So today we are here to praise our Yahweh. Amen. Today we are here to praise our King in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. When we say to praise, it is to hold up hands, hold up hands in reverence to him. We give it all unto him. So when we come before God and we are praising, we lift our hands up. We want to say, God, this is our hands. We cannot do anything of our own. We give it all unto you. We let it go for you to take your glory. Therefore, the praise that stems from the heart, the praise that is emanating from the cheerful heart, our God takes and he does something mighty. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let everything that has breath praise the name of the living God. Today we are talking about praise. Everything with living, everything with breath, praising the Lord. And we are focusing on who and what, how. So I am starting with the who. Who do we praise? One. And who gives praise? Two. So I am talking on two things on the who. Who do we worship or who do we praise? Somebody come with me. Who do we praise? Who do we praise? Who do we praise? Who do we praise? And the first, first Peter chapter 2 verse 9 says, These people have I formed for myself. And these people are, uh, sorry, it says, These people are royal priesthood, a chosen generation, a peculiar people, and they will show forth what? My praise. One, it's talking about God because God created us. So we are talking about who do we give our praise or who do we give our praise unto. And I say it's God and it's backing it from First Peter 2 9. He says he, he made us to show forth what? His praise. Again, if you go to Hebrews chapter 8, reading from 10 to 12. Hebrews chapter 8, 10 to 12. Where it, it excites me most, God says in the verse 11, He says, your sins I will not remember anymore. Beloved, God is the God who is able to forgive us our sins. He's able to forgive us our iniquities. And he said he will not remember it anymore. Amen. So God has forgiven us our iniquities and he will never and ever remember. And because of that, he is always right when we give him our praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You that you were on your way to destruction. You that the enemy has captured. You that the enemy has befed. And God has rescued you. God has redeemed you. Therefore, we as children of God has every right to praise God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So we shall always give our praise unto God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So the right person to receive your praise is God. I did begin by saying that human beings praise God. Irrespective of your religion, irrespective of your make, you give some sort of praise. But the issue is who do you give your praise to? And this afternoon we have established that we ought to give our praise to God. Because he, God, is the only one that deserves our praise. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. So we give our praises to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come with me to Revelations. I am reading from Revelations chapter 14 verse 7. Revelations chapter 14 verse 7. Come with me quickly. The book of Revelations 14 7. The book of Revelations 14 7. And I read. Saying with a loud voice, somebody saying with a loud voice, Fear God and give glory to Him. Fear God and give what praise to Him, for the hour of His judgment has come. And worship Him who made heaven and earth. 
the sea and the springs of water. The Bible entreat us, has taught us, the Bible what commands us to give worship unto God, to give praise unto God. For the hour of his judgment has come. So we as believers, we can only what? Give our praise to God in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody do not give your praise unto trees. Somebody do not give your praise unto men. Somebody do not give your praise unto graven image. For there is no power in them. The Bible says the arm of flesh will fail you. Those trees, they cannot help you. Those stones, they cannot help you. They themselves, they even need help. They themselves, they need, even need help. So if you have any praise, give it unto God in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Tell your neighbor, if there is any praise in my mouth, I will give it unto the Lord. If there is any praise in my mouth, I will give it unto the Lord. If there is any thanksgiving given in my mouth, I will give it unto the Lord. If there is anything I have, I will give it unto God. For he alone is worthy, there is none like unto him. Before none and after there wouldn't be. He is the great I am, the creator of the universe, the doer of all things. Behold, he is a God that behind the risen. Give praise unto him for he's worthy to be praised. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So we know that we, we give praise or we do give praise unto God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, so God is worthy to take the praise. And the second bit is who is meant to praise? Who is meant to praise? And the Bible says all living things. I am taking to the book of Psalm 48. All living things all to praise God. Psalm 48, Psalm 148, verse 7, it says, Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures, and all the depths, fire and hail, snow and clouds, stormy wind, fulfilling his word, mountains and all the hills, fruitful trees and all the cedars. Beloved, the Bible is saying that everything will praise God. In the morning, you will see the, the sea coming to the shore to praise God. I quite remember once we went to Brighton to do baptism. We got there very early and the sea was very far off. The shore was very far off. And you could even walk about 200 to 400 meters on bare grounds. So we couldn't do the baptism and we sat waiting. For a couple of hours, we saw the beauty of the sea coming forth. And the sea came to the point that we have to move very far back. And you see the waves and they are all glorifying God. They are glorifying God. The birds of the air, when the birds wake up in the morning, the birds will burst into songs to praise God. The birds will wave their feathers. The birds will fly. All the animals will make noise and sound, especially in the morning and early hours of the morning. It is in response to what? Thanksgiving unto God. Amen. It is response to thanksgiving unto God. There are times that you see the tree. The trees will go to and fro. And all the trees are giving what? Glory to God. Beloved, I want you to know this, that don't sit down for the trees to glorify God more than you. Don't sit down for the birds to sing praises more than you. Don't sit down for the fishes to glorify God more than you. Oh, Jesus said to the Pharisees, if these people will keep quiet, the stones will rise. Beloved, I shall not sit for a stone to take up my praise. Somebody lift your voice and say, I will not sit for the stones to take my praise. I will give praise unto God at all times and his praise shall continually be in my lips. Amen. His praise shall continually be in my lips. Amen. The psalmist said what his praise Praise shall continually be in my lips. Come with me to the book of Revelation, chapter 5, verse 13. We are talking about praise. Praise. Who is meant to praise? And we want to emphasize that every living thing, every living thing, ought to praise God. Revelation 5, 13. And I read. The book of Revelation 5, 13. And I read. He performs great signs so that he even makes fire come down from heaven on earth in the sight of men. 
Beloved, we worship God for his mighty things. And the Bible says he performed great things. He even commanded fire to come down from heaven. Beloved, I don't know the situation you are in, the challenge that you are sitting by. I command the fire from on high to consume it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, you will praise God because of his act. You will praise God because of his wondrous things he has done. He said he will perform wonders in heaven and earth. Cloud of pillar. I pray today that may God perform wonders for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that the Lord will perform mighty things in your life such that you will burst out with praise. Amen. Oh, he says, he who goeth out sowing with tears will come back with will repeat reaping what? With joys. I pray that whatever you have sown in this life will come back with joys. Amen. Whatever you have planted in this life will reap joys. Amen. Whatever your hand will touch to do shall come out with joys. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let everything that has breath, what? Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beloved, your praise will make way for you. Amen. Your praise will destroy the holds of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. as you begin to praise, the enemy cannot stand. As you begin to praise, your foes cannot stand. They have no option than to depart from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says there was a time in the days that the four lepers sat behind the gate and they said, if we sit here, we might die. Let's go. Perchance the people will kill or spare us. But the Bible says as they begin to go, even their four steps, God begin to amplify by the mighty hand, mighty hand of God. And the people heard it as a mighty noise. Beloved, this is what happens when you begin to praise. Your, your praise becomes like chariots. It becomes like battalions coming. Then the enemies will have no option than to flee. I want to tell you today that your enemies will flee in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So that is, that is who. Who do we worship? And who is worthy to take our praise. I am taking you to the next point which we are addressing today is how. And the how is how God acts. We worship him or we praise him because of how he acts. And the next bit we will talk about is how do we actually what? Praise God in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I am talking to you about how God acts. The word of Hebrews chapter 4, 16, it says, Come boldly before the throne of grace, such that you obtain grace and mercy. Come boldly before the throne of grace, such that you obtain what? Mercy. We praise God because of his mercy. Beloved, you knew or you know where you were coming from. You know the things you have been through. You know the challenges you have seen. Had it not been God on your side, had it not been God on your side? Had it not been God on your side? So we, we praise God because of how he acts and because of his mercies. Oh, Romans chapter 9, 16 says, Not he that will it, nor he that run it, but it is the Lord God that showeth mercy. May the Lord God show you mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will praise God because of his mercy. The Bible says his mercies endure forever. His compassion, what? Fill it not. We worship God because of his praises. The second bit is, the number two is how God acts on number two is his forgiveness. His forgiveness. Somebody say his forgiveness. His forgiveness. Beloved, God has forgiven you every since. Some of us, if it's not, if, if it is not where to, if it is not where to be, what? Forgiveness. Ah, my God. If, if we have to pay for our own sins, we couldn't. We couldn't. He forgives us his sins. He has forgiven your sins. Ephesians chapter 2 it says what? We, we have been saved through what? Grace. By faith. Not of our works. So it is of God's doing. So his salvation. The things God do will cause men to praise him. The things God has done in your life will cause you to praise him. And the next one, his provision, the provision, the provision. God makes every provision for you. He says the birds of the air, they do not gather into barns. They do not labor, but yet, yet your heavenly father feeds them. Beloved, let me tell you one thing. Irrespective of how difficult it will be in your life, you will never go hungry. You will never go hungry. 
irrespective of how poor the situation might be, you will never go hungry. David said, I have been an, a young man, I have been an old man, but I have never seen the righteous begging for bread, nor his descendants. Today, I want to assure you that in this life, you will never beg for bread. Amen. I want to assure you that in this life, you will never, not even your descendant, because God is God, Amen. and you will ensure that your praise will always come unto him. Amen. Amen. God will not sit down for Satan to take his glory. So God will have to perform the mighty things in your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, the word of God continue to say in Isaiah 54, 15 to, 15 to 17. In the mighty name of Jesus. Isaiah 54, Isaiah 54, 15. Hallelujah. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. And begin to begin to begin to rejoice, begin to rejoice, begin to rejoice, begin to rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Begin to rejoice and begin to rejoice, begin to rejoice, begin to give him glad, begin to give him praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So he says that what? He says that his protection in Azar, he says uh, his protection. He says, surely they shall gather together, not of him, and they will fall for your sake. Whenever the enemies gather together, God causes them to fall. And as a result of the fall, men give praise. He says, no weapon that is fashioned against you will ever prosper. It is as a result of his mighty hand upon your life. Then man will begin to praise God in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, praise be to the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. be to the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. be to the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. be to the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God because Hallelujah. your praise Hallelujah. will make a way for you. Hallelujah. Oh, the psalmist says his Hallelujah. praise shall continually be in Hallelujah. my lips. The praise of the Lord shall continually what be in your lips. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Irrespective of how hard the enemy will try, the praise of the Lord will remain in your lips in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. How do we praise? How do we praise? How do we praise? We have heard and we've heard and we are hearing. So the question is, how do we praise? Come with me to the book of Psalm 150. We shall read from the verse number three going down. The book of Psalm 150. I am reading from verse three. It says, let them praise his name with a dance. Somebody say with a dance. With a with dance. A dance. So we praise with dance. One, number one, dance. Let them sing praises to him with a what? With a tambourine and the harp. Two. So we sing and we swing the harp. Let me go back again. You remember in the book of 2 Samuel, reading from chapter 6, the Bible says when the ark of God was coming back, David as a king stood before the ark and he danced to the point that his garments were nowhere to be found. That was a praise. Beloved, if you can dance your enemies down, beloved, if you can dance your troubles down, beloved, if you can dance your sorrows down, situations will change in your favor. Amen. Situations will change in your favor. Amen. So David had to dance down the trouble in the mighty name of Jesus. I am going on. It says the tambourine, the tambourine and with the harp. You remember in the days of old, Exodus 15, when Miriam led the people with a tambourine, with a tambourine, beloved, so we have to praise also with a tambourine Amen. and with a harp, with a tambourine and with a harp. I am going on to read verse three it says, "Praise the Lord from that three. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet, the sound of the trumpet. Amen. The sound of the trumpet, beloved. You know, at the end of this life, the trumpet will be sound." It is sounding in praise because we have, we have tarried or we have, we have endured. So there shall be a trumpet sound. That trumpet sound is for praise because those of the Lord are going back to heaven. And remember the wall of Jericho came down as a result of the sounding of the what? The trumpet. The sounding of the trumpet. Remember also the Bible talks of what? Second Samuel 2. Second Samuel, Second Samuel verse 6. The Bible says the people begin to sound the trumpet. That is what calls David to dance. Beloved, everybody has a way they 
praise their God. Everybody has a thing, they tune or the thing that turns them to praise God. That is why the psalmist have written all these things there. There are some people when they hear the trumpet, they are everywhere. When there are people when they hear the tambourine, there are people when they begin to dance, there are people when they hear the singing. So you as a child of God, you need to identify what causes your heart to what? To praise. What causes your heart to praise? There are some people when they hear them certain songs in the church, there are everywhere they cannot control themselves. Because they can relate to that song. Maybe when they were in difficulty, when they were in challenges, there was or there is a song that they sang, and the song brought them to what? To the glory. So you as a child of God, you need to identify. That is the emphasis of today that you need to know who you are and identify what causes your heart to what? To glorify God. Because praise is of the inside. You will only praise God because of what is coming from your inside. Amen. Praise is not that which is from the outside into the inside. Praise is that which is the inside onto the outside. Amen. So one can praise God based on what is going on in the inside. Amen. Is somebody with me? Oh, yes. So I am continuing to read the verse 4. It says, praise him with what? With a stringed instrument and flute. Praise him with a loud cymbals. And praise him with a clashing cymbals. Praise him with a clashing cymbals. Hallelujah. Beloved, let me tell you something. You cannot praise God in your head. There are some people who say, I am praising God in my Your praise has to be seen. Amen. Your praise has to be heard. Amen. Praise all to be seen and it all to be all to be heard. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I entreat somebody to have a, an attitude of praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. Irrespective of whatever you go through, irrespective of the challenge you see in your life, there is always a reason to praise God. I said that irrespective of what you are going through, irrespective of what you've been through, irrespective of what you will be, through, you will go through, there is always a reason to what to praise God in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of us we wait till all is well before we give praise. Some of us we want to wait till everything is what good before we give praise. And as I said the other week, we give praise or we give a sacrifice of praise when all is not well. We give sacrifice of praise. You know, it is very easy for you to praise God when all is well. It is easy for you to praise God when you are winning. It is easy for you to praise God when you have succeeded. But it is very difficult for you to praise God when things are not in your favor. And Jesus said, in this life, you will face many persecution. But remember, I have overcome the world. So you, as a child of God, if you have this mindset, if you have this mentality, no matter what cometh your way, no matter what comes your way, you will have an attitude of praise. And it, it is this, the Bible term as what? Sacrifice of praise. Sacrifice of praise. Amen. That is in what? Hebrews 13, 15. When we give sacrifice of praise. I, Therefore be, be him, let us continually. Therefore by him, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Amen. Amen. And when you do this sacrifice of praise, beloved, if you do this sacrifice of praise, things will turn in your favor. Amen. Situation will turn in your favor. Amen. Challenges will turn in your favor. Amen. Nobody can stand the sacrifice of praise. If you praise God, you are positively elevated beyond sorrow. You are positively lifted beyond pain. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. the praise of our Lord shall continually be in our lips. Amen. Beloved, I want to ensure you one more time. In this life, challenges will come your way, but it shall end in praise. In the Hallelujah. mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, do there might be difficulty as we speak, but it shall end in praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, some of us, we have lost our jobs. Some of us, the home office are delaying our papers. 
But I want to tell you that this will end in praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, there was a time that Jesus met this man who was blind from birth. And the Bible says Jesus healed this man. And the people began to ask questions. The man said to him, all I do care is once I was blind, but now I can see. The guy was with a heart of joy. The guy with a heart of what? Gratitude. Beloved, some people are asking questions as we speak. Some of them are asking, is this not the same person who goes to church every day? Is this not the same woman who preaches to me every day? All I want to tell you that the situation shall end up in praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Bible talks of Acts chapter 3. The Bible says there was a man that sat by the beautiful gate. And when this man was healed, the Bible says he leaped and went into the temple with praising. And all those that saw gave praise unto God. Has it not ended in praise? Has the situation not ended in praise? Yes. I want to tell you that your circumstances will end in praise. Amen. Your situation will end in praise. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus told his disciples, we are going over to the other side. The Bible says, suddenly there was a storm. But when Jesus arose, he rebuked the storm. And the people were marveled and they proclaimed, what manner of man is this? It is a praise. I told you that when somebody do something extraordinary, you give praise. They said, what manner of God? What manner of man is this? Beloved, the Lord God is doing something in your life. Hallelujah. I preach to somebody that God is about to do something in your life. Amen. Men will wonder what manner of God is he serving. Amen. What manner of man is he? What Amen. manner of man is he? Because the Lord God will cause it to end in what? In praise. Amen. It will end in a praise. It will end in a praise. Amen. I want you to focus your mind. The Bible says, let everything that has breath word praise the name of the living God. Your situation is ending in praise. Amen. Oh, that battle is ending in praise. Amen. Oh, that fighting is ending in praise. Amen. That rivalry is ending in praise. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you read the book of Acts chapter 28, the Bible says, Paul, as an apostle, got into a place, a place that the python latched onto his, what, his hand. He shook it into the fire. The people says, this must be God. Straight away, they were astonished. Beloved, the Lord God is about to do something in your life. And it will amaze many. Amen. And it shall end in praise. Amen. It will surprise many. Amen. And it shall end in praise. It will, want, it will cause a wonder in many. And it shall end in praise. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God is doing something for you. I want you to what look and see. And know that he's doing something new in your life. Which will end in praise. Because he said, these people have I formed for myself and they will show forth my praise. So whatever God does for you, God do it in such a way that it will what? End in what? Praise. Amen. Are you having a revelation? Oh, God yes. will do things in your life that will end in praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Remember when the father of Joseph met him, he began to give glory that God has preserved him for him to see his son again and even his grandchildren. But when Joseph was going through the challenge, it wasn't a praise time. Beloved, you might be going through a challenge. You might be going through difficulty. But all I want to tell you that it shall end in praise. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I will just, I'm about to end in no time, but I will just emphasize two things. This is as a caution for us as the church. Beloved, if you want to be a praise blocker, if you want to be a praise stopper, God will deal with you. Take this very, very greatly, seriously. Remember, the Bible said that God told Moses to go and tell Pharaoh to let my people go so that they will go and worship. They will go and what praise. And Pharaoh did everything, and we know the end result of Pharaoh. Oh, yes. If you are in the church, you have seen your brother succeeding. If you are in the world, you've seen your brother succeeding. 
which will bring glory to God. And you want to do everything to make sure that that brother or that sister does not succeed. Be careful because God will deal with you. Hallelujah. If you want to be a praise blocker, you are fighting God. If you want to be a praise stopper, you are fighting God. If you want to be a praise word sitter, you are fighting God. And God will not take it lightly in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God himself will fight you. Hallelujah. God himself will fight you. Hallelujah. Glory. Pharaoh did everything he could, but then he couldn't stop God. This tells me that nobody can stop you because the praise of God is in you. Amen. I said last week that we used to go to the temples to worship. Now the Spirit of God is in us. So we worship in us. Amen. So the, the, the glory is in us. So we are, we are praised in walking. So the enemy cannot stop you. If the enemy dare tries to stop you, God will have to fight him. Amen. Amen. God will have to fight him. I will take you into the Bible one more time. Read from 2 Samuel. I want us to take very key note of this. 2 Samuel chapter 6. The book of 2 Samuel chapter 6. Reading from 16. And we'll end in 23. 2 Samuel chapter 6. I want you to know if you want to be a praise blocker, God will fight you. Amen. It is very dangerous. Very dangerous. Some of us, we want to fight. We even fight the men of God. Mm. We even fight the women of God. We fight the people God has ordained to do the things. And we are doing everything. Don't forget God said, these people have I formed for myself. So if you are fighting a praise of God, you are fighting God. Hallelujah. Glory. Second Samuel chapter 6, reading from 16. Now, as the ark of the Lord came into the city of David... Michal, Saul's daughter, looked through a window and saw King David leaping and wailing before the Lord. The Bible says she did not go there. She peeped through the window. So there are people, whilst you are giving praise, it's even annoying them. There are people, whilst you are praising God, it even upsets them. There are people, whilst you are doing things that will bring glory to God, it, it annoys them more. They will not come to help. She peeped from the window. She looked from the window and saw it. Anybody who is looking from the window, seeing your glory and wanting to stop it, may the Lord God fight them. Amen. I said, anybody who is looking through the window, seeing your glory and wanting to stop it, may the Lord God rebuke them. Amen. Amen. Anybody looking through the window, seeing your glory and wanting to what? Hinder it. May the Lord God remove them. Amen. Anybody looking through the window and has seen the glory and has said in his heart, I will stop it. May God stop them in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We continue to read. Look through the window and saw King David leaping and wailing before the Lord. And she despised him in her heart. You've seen somebody giving glory to God and you have despised him in your heart. Beloved, if you are such a person, listen to me today, repent. Because God will fight you. If you are such, listen to me today, repent. Because God will fight you. The glory of the Lord shall not be given unto any man. She looked through the window and saw what David was doing and said in her heart, how could a king do this? Beloved, you need to be humble before God. When you come before God to give praise, you lift your hands. That is to say you have nothing of your own. You cannot do it of your own. You give it all unto God. Give every praise unto God. Beloved, every, every breath I have, every breath I take is to my God. Has it not been God on our side? I told you how thankful Boris Johnson was when he was given a little cylinder of oxygen. A little cylinder of oxygen. I am reading the verse 23. That is the dangerous bit. Look, the verse 23. Let's read together. Therefore, Michal, daughter of Saul, had no children to the day of her birth. Had no children. Had no children. Because of what her heart perceived. Because of her heart. Beloved, if you want to stop God, if you want to be a praise blocker, 
Be careful because you are fighting God. Let's read the verse 21. It is very sweet to my ears. The verse 21. Let's read the verse 21. Quickly. So David said to Micah, It was before the Lord who chose me instead of your father and all his house to appoint me ruler over the people of the Lord. So David remembered what the Lord has done for him. David remembered what the Lord has what? Done for him. David remembered what the Lord has done for him. Beloved, what has the Lord done for you? When I remember what the Lord has done, I will never go back anymore. When, when I, I remember, remember what the Lord has, has done, I will never go back anymore. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Beloved, if I remember where I am coming from, if I remember where I grew up, if I remember the schools I have been, beloved, every school under this earth I have been to, I have been to the polytechnic, I have been to college, I have been to university, what at all. But the Lord God did not forsake me. Amen. I don't know where you are coming from. Beloved, don't forget yourself. Don't forget where you are coming from. Don't forget who you are. And let the praise of the Lord continually be in your lips. Look at the family you are coming from. Some of us look at the village you are coming from. Look at you yourself. Today you call yourself or God, somebody. And remember many years back. There are some families they have to cook stones. So the moment they are cooking stones, the children will fall asleep. It was a deception because there was lack. But today, you can even buy in abundance. Remember the Lord. God told the Israelites, when I take you to the land... Do not forget about your God who made you or who gave you the power to make worlds. Human beings tend to forget about God. Beloved, we are in a time that if you don't take care, you will give glory to the system. We are in a moment, if you don't take time, you will give glory to the doctors. People have been clapping for the NHS all this while. Haven't forgotten that it is the Lord that heals. it. Hallelujah. Amen. It is the Lord that heals. it. Don't give your praise unto the stones. Don't give your praise unto the graven image. Let everything that has breath praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I am going to end this my, my preaching by reading the last uh, five word, Psalms. Psalm 145, he said, I will restore you, O my God, O King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Amen. 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 Psalm 146, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord, O my soul. Psalm 147, Praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God, for it is pleasant and praise is what? Beautiful. Psalm 148. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the height. Psalm 149. Sing to the Lord a new song and his praise in the assembly of the saints. Psalm 150, praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty ferment. Amen. Amen. And the last verse that closes the psalm says, Let everything that had breath, what? Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let everything that had breath, what? Praise the name of the living Hallelujah. God. David said there is no praise for those that go down in the grave. Beloved, the dead cannot praise God. You have to praise God while you have bread. I will praise the maker while I have bread. You praise the maker whilst you have life. There will be a time that your breath will cease. There will be a time that you cannot make the praise. 
The hour is now. The moment is now. The time is now for you to give, give what? Praise unto God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So in closing, Psalm 98. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. For he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy hand have gained him what? The victory. I encourage you to give praise unto God, irrespective of whatever you go through. The psalmist says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. The trees are praising God. The birds are praising God. The mountains are praising God. The, 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 the fowls are praising God. The donkeys are praising God. I entreat you as a human being to praise God, irrespective of whatever situation you will be in. Beloved, remember when you go to heaven, you don't have anything to do apart from praise and worship. So it is better you start here. May the Lord God bless you. May the countenance of God be with you. And may the praise that is in your life forever lead you. I, I pray for you and we will come your way next week with the power of the Lord. God bless, bless you for joining Christian Faith International Worship. Amen. 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 Amen.